Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers, and this is your outlook for June 4th, 2013. And uh, we're going to focus on uh, the late week system here today. And uh, I mean, we got a couple nice days here today, and there's really not much to really show you when there's a bunch of nothing here. But uh, uh, same thing uh, we're expecting on Wednesday. Uh, but uh, so another couple days where we're going to have a, some re a refreshing day with high under high pressure control, and then uh, we think uh, late Wednesday that high pressure is going to going to shift east offshore, and there's going to be a frontal boundary and uh, actually an inverted trough that's going to come across uh, to the eastern part of the United States here. But uh, I don't think it gets to our entire area. Uh, where a couple of days now we're talking about a you know warm front sitting up here like this, low pressure sitting here. Uh, cold front sitting here down here like this. So this is like just a little inverted trough sitting here over uh, our area here. So the northern portions up here up northeast PA may get into some shower activity uh, north central northeast PA. I really don't think Thursday is going to be a, a rainmaker for, for most areas, but uh, you see the rest of our coverage area is, is dry. And, uh, it's been, and the reason I'm saying that is because I mean the couple, last couple of days now, uh, the European model has been pretty consistent with that, so I'm not really going to argue against it. So, uh, you know, has that uh, system like that. Uh, again, setting the stage for that. And then we have a system that's moving down from down south here, and you can't see it on this map here. I'm going to switch over to our weather alert maps. Uh, this is actually posted on our website in the weather alert map section. And uh, we have a, a, a tropical uh, low. Now, this used to be Hurricane Barbara when it was on the other side uh, in the Pacific. And then it crossed over, uh, you know, I guess Panama, Nicaragua, or I'm not good at geography down in this area, but it crossed over uh, the Central America area, and it's uh, just north of the Yucatan uh, Peninsula, or ex expected to be, and then it's supposed to develop slowly as it heads towards the Florida Panhandle, but I think it only makes it to tropical depression status and doesn't get any further than that. I, I don't think we're talking about a tropical storm here, not impossible, but uh, we'll go over Florida and bring a jump some very heavy rainfall over for over the peninsula as it does so, and then uh, Friday morning we're expected to be over here by Myrtle Beach or somewhere in that vicinity, and then just kind of hug the coastline here. Now we already have this trough in place that I just drew on the map in the, on the previous frame here, so you have the inverted trough here and you have uh, the low pressure system moving up the, uh, up the coast. There's still some question, actually a lot of questions here. Uh, I think track is pretty much nailed down. I mean the, the, the models are pretty much in agreement on a track that's taking us like this. Uh, there's still some question on the strength of the system. GFS has this extremely weak uh, and the uh, Canadian model has it uh, has it a lot, a lot stronger, about 10 millibars stronger, uh, and the European model is kind of halfway halfway in between. So we're kind of going with the European on that one, just because it's you know splitting the difference. But uh, there's a question on how much this frontal boundary and this low pressure that's moving up the coast, which is just going to be a remnant low, not a hurricane, not a tropical storm, but uh, where how much it interacts with this frontal boundary here will determine how much rainfall we get, and uh, we, we could be could be quite heavy. The uh, Hydrometeorological Prediction Center, or whatever, WPC, HPC, whatever they're calling themselves these days, they have uh, generally an inch and a half or greater uh, from pretty much our entire area uh, on, uh, this is actually the time frame from, uh, you know, uh, Friday morning through Sunday morning. So, you know, pretty decent amount of rainfall that they're expecting uh, preliminarily anyway. So we're going to take a look at this uh, one thing on the, one more model on the GFS, just to give you an idea broad view of what's going on. Here's your system down here. Uh, and here's that uh, here's that low pressure you can see right here that I was just drawing the map before. Inverted trough sitting like this. And then this thing's gonna move out ahead of it up the coast. So it's gonna take a path just like this from that point. And then head off to the northeast as this front picks it up. But uh, you know this is where it's starting off just so you can see where that is on the map there. And then uh, moving beyond that now we're actually gonna go right in the heart of the storm first. And uh, this is, you see the heavy rainfall, and then this moves through. Now, there's a question on how long this lasts, too. Some people are saying, they're saying they have a lot of, you know, some events happening this weekend. I think at least early on Saturday, we're going to bet for, you know, some showers lingering around here. This is Saturday, this is on the European model, Saturday morning at, at uh, 8 o'clock. And uh, you still get some lingering showers as the system's now up here and moving away. Or actually, it's right here. I'm sorry. We're sitting right over here, uh, just off the coast of New Jersey, moving northeast rapidly. And then uh, from that point, 
uh, you know, moves up here, but then you have some wraparound. You might be dealing with some showers uh, in early afternoon. So we'll have to keep an eye. I, I think if, I mean, primarily uh, you're talking about Saturday morning as being uh, some leftover showers, but, but Friday night looks like it's a, a soaker. Friday afternoon, Friday night, and uh, early Saturday morning, we could be dealing with some very heavy rainfall. Uh, check back with us throughout the week, and we'll give you updated totals and as, as we get them, and we can narrow down track uh, timing and intensity. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers, and that is your outlook for Tuesday, June 4th, 2013. Have a great day.